What's going on? So in this video, I'm gonna help you as a basketball player decide whether you should bulk first or whether you should cut. And this is one of the most common questions I get asked as a nutrition coach for basketball players, and it makes sense. If you're starting to kind of figure out, okay, nutrition is important, now you're wondering, what should I do with my nutrition? What should my nutrition be aimed to achieve or to accomplish? Should I lose body fat first? Should I build muscle first? What's gonna help me most effectively as a basketball player? And this really depends on a couple of different things. So in today's video, we're gonna discuss three things that you need to consider when making this decision. The first one being perhaps the most important, are you a teenager? Are you still growing and developing? If you are, and you're already at a healthy body weight and relatively lean already, and don't have a lot of body fat to lose, and be, be honest here, if you don't have a lot of body fat to lose, and you go into a calorie deficit and you stay in a calorie deficit for a prolonged period of time, that could potentially negatively impact your growth and development, which is the last thing we want. In terms of things you could do to affect your height, Another question I get asked, how do I grow taller? There's not necessarily anything you're gonna to do to gain additional inches to your height, but there are things you could do to maximize your genetic potential. One of those is fueling properly. And if you're in a deficit trying to cut while you're a teenager and you're already at a healthy body weight, if you're doing that, you could potentially limit your growth and development. So if you're a teenager and at a healthy body weight already, do not cut. I would much rather you focus on either performance and or putting on lean muscle mass. The next thing we need to consider is, are you above or below 15% body fat? Above 15% body fat, it's a little bit less effective to try and put on some muscle mass because your body is less effective at partitioning nutrients. So it's more likely that your calorie surplus, the calories coming in are gonna be stored as body fat than actually shuttle to muscle tissue and sort of fuel in air. So if you're above 15% body fat, I might recommend cutting back down below 15% body fat to a little bit of a lower body fat percentage. But if you're already below 15% body fat in that 10 to 12-ish range, then I would recommend trying to either maximize performance or put on some lean muscle mass if your goal is to do so. And then before we get into the third thing you need to consider, definitely be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for new videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. And then the last thing we need to consider is perhaps the most important consideration of all, which is will gaining weight help me to perform better on the basketball court or vice versa, will losing body fat help me to perform better on the basketball court? Because that's what we're after here. We're not after aesthetic changes. If you are, then cool, except that you're probably not gonna maximize your performance. But if you're really trying to perform better, every decision you make has to go through the filter of, will this help me perform better? So for some athletes, putting on some lean mass will help you perform better. In most, in most athletes' cases, that's gonna be the case. But there are some athletes where maybe you are holding on to some extra body fat. And again, if you're not a teenager, if you're done growing and developing, and you're still holding on to some extra body fat, you feel like getting rid of would actually help you out, then okay, go into a cut. And if that's the case, you're probably already likely above 15% body fat anyway, so it does make sense for you to cut. But if trying to cut and going to this calorie deficit isn't gonna help you long-term, then don't do that. Go into a surplus instead, or just maintain and focus on performance. There's nothing wrong with that either. But really make sure whatever decision you make, it's for the best interest of your athletic performance as a basketball player not based on vanity metrics, like whether you have a six pack or not. So hopefully that makes sense. And if you decided, okay, I do need to put on some muscle, that's gonna be the best thing for me. There's an entire playlist here on the channel taking you from start to finish on how to build a muscle building nutrition plan for basketball players. So I'll link down on the screen right now, drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in that next video.